What is up everybody, welcome back, and today we are continuing newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. And, uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Today we will be playing World 4. And to start off, we are going to go into the first level, Bamboo Steps. This sounds amazing, it's like some Asian place. And, as you can see from the image, it's definitely going to be that way. So, there's bamboo trees. Am I allowed to, like, climb it? What am I supposed to do here? Do I have to, like... Okay, I guess that worked. Um, oh, I thought that was just a part of the background. But that's nice. Also, something you'll no Oh, shoot. Whoa. Shy guys? I don't think... Oh, I thought it was dead, but... I don't think shy guys were actually in the original game, so that's pretty cool. And, um... Am I allowed to, like... Oh, we can climb the bamboo. That is... Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I don't think Shy Guys were actually in the original game. So that's pretty cool. And I wonder if we'll have any new power-ups. But, I don't know, like a panda outfit? Because I know that they eat bamboo. I don't know, they could have done something pretty cool. But I don't think they did. Alright, and something you may notice. And, woo, are we going into, like, a house place? Okay, let's try going down here. Alright, and we have, like, a little bamboo thing. But, oh, this is, like, don't... Oh, this is a throwback to Donkey Kong. That is actually really cool. A throwback to Donkey Kong is what I would assume like the bamboo is supposed to be like the ladders. And I died. Okay, we made it back to this little Donkey Kong area. That was kind of a, a sad death right there. But hopefully... Here, I'm a, I like... I'm going to be staying on the bamboo nearly the whole time here because... They're like the little freaking... Um, Dude, what are those, like, those fishy thing called? They're, like, they're, it's, like, the, I don't know, it's, like, these fish enemies, but either way, we got it, thankfully. And we get ourselves a nice little checkpoint, and now we go into another area. Dude, the only thing I can think about when playing this area, oh my gosh, we have an auto-scroller. But all I think about is Naruto. This is the, uh, this is literally the only thing I think about when I come here. Because, like, yeah, I know I, I always crap on anime in my videos, like, Oh my gosh, how did I already lose that, bro? But in nearly every video, and I, I died again. Alright, we made it back, but as I was saying, I always crap on anime, but there is one that I did actually watch back in the day, and that was Naruto, because my brothers showed me it back, back before they kind of stopped watching as well, like me and all my brothers, like the ones that used to watch it. Um, really the only ones we ever watched was Naruto, and I loved it. It was, like, one of my favorite shows. Um, I don't know if I actually ever finished it. I think I got to Naruto Shippuden, like, the 400th episode or something like that, but, yeah. Dude, I swear. Did I just die again? Bro, oh, no way, dude. Alright, guys, we made it back here, and I keep forgetting that you can latch yourself onto the bamboo. I always just keep forgetting about that, and are we still going down? Alright, we're still going down. Alright, and I found a secret pipe, too, so that's cool. Okay, and yeah, the background's all pink, kind of like, um... I don't know, it just reminds me of Naruto in so many different ways. Finally, I got one of these, which will make this vi le level so much easier. And also, these cloud enemies, I... Were they in the base game? I actually don't know. I know the shy guys weren't, so I... I literally just got that, and I lost it again. Finally, we're done with this fetching area, bro. Holy crap. Okay, well, we get a little little switch here okay oh that's just to get, help us get to the top of the flagpole i'm pretty sure yep and we did it all right and we are greeted to a split path here and i think we're going to go this way to cherry falls and because we kept dying we have to fuel up with which you guys can't see but some g fuel so please when i get a thousand subscribers g fuel you guys should start sponsoring me because i love you guys a lot all right, and right off there are waterfalls. That is something we did not see in the base game. And we get some um, leaves falling from the air. That's cool. Yes, we get the hammer suit. This is like, I don't know why, but I love I love this power up. And bam, just kill that dude. All right, and now how am I supposed to get up here? It's like, all right, oh, I guess we can. Dude, every time I get a power up, I always lose it in like two seconds. It's so annoying. Alright, that's a weird looking tree, but we get our first star coin, so nice. Alright, now we got some dancing blocks, and also I wanted to say thank you guys, because my last video did get 400 views, which is crazy, and 
I'm sure the reason why I didn't gain a lot of subs is because you could not hear the game's music at all, and I kept freaking re-recording that video, and I was just kind of sick of it, so I stopped in. That's an interesting Shy Guy. Don't think we've actually seen a Shy Guy of that color either, but cool. Oh man, this part right here just reminds me of one scene in Naruto. I don't know, i just getting reminded of it like so, so much from this, from this world. Bro, I'm just landing all my shots today. I have not missed a single one. Actually, I did just now, and I freaking lost it again, dude. Alright, now we have to make a sketchy move. And we did not kill him, however, that did happen, and I nearly died. Dude, these shy guys are actually kind of cracked. Oh my gosh, guys, did we beat the first? Our fir we beat a level without dying. That is insane to me. Alright, and, um, this was not planned, but this level, I can already tell that this is gonna be the coolest level ever. Oh my gosh, dude, we immediately start off with, like, this, um, Japanese, like, China-ish kind of area, and we climb, like, some trees to get to the top, dude, this is so cool. Dude, this is actually so sick. Can we go on the tower? I see coins over here. We can. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so, so dope. And they bring the ropes back. This kind of feels like, um, that one game Jump King, because we're kind of, like, going across, like, these high towers. I don't know why. This is now reminding me of that game. I immediately grabbed a power-up, and then I lost it, so that's kind of cool. And, oh no, this is going to be a scary part. Alright. How can we do this? Alright, throw it. <clears throat> oh my... <sighs> Alright, boom. What? All right, we made it back up here. Dude, this level, like, oh my gosh, it's like getting all the cum out of my balls. And you really think I didn't see that coin? All right, but that actually was pretty well hid, though. And come on, climb up the bit. Dude, I swear Groot is like freaking coming everywhere every time I freaking climb on him right now. This, oh my gosh. I was expecting to bring them to bring these in here, though, because they were actually showing it in the beginning, but... Um, I thought, I uh, kind of felt like you could go in there. I don't know why, but now every time I look at the bamboo, I think of that meme where it's like somebody's like grabbing on Groot's cock or whatever. If you guys don't know what that meme is, you're missing out. And we enter a cannon, which that's all it does. They probably should have just let us have a platform to go up here, but either way, that's all kind of cool. All right. <sighs> I wonder if we will actually end up going inside one of these towers, which I think would be really cool. But I guess we'll have to find out later, which I really hope they do. But climbing them is still kind of cool. It's kind of like, um, like Ninja Gaiden or whatever. As you can tell, I'm thinking of so many different things by this world. But how am I supposed to get up there? Think I think I figured it out. Bam. And that was over one of like those things that were... Like, they slam it, and it makes that noise or whatever. Alright, and we do go in the tower, and I'm guessing we have a boss fight. Alright, who will it be? I'm assuming it's gonna be some form of, form of Shy Guy, because there's so many, and... Dude, bro, just... It's a Samurai Shy Guy, and it just freaking clapped... Oh, shoot. Is it like a sword battle? Dude. This is like a sword battle. What is, what is he doing? Um... Alright, well, I guess this is fairly simple, but it's still pretty creative, like, just battling some shy guy with the sword, that's pretty dope. But, it was still an easy fight, kinda has, like, that animation where, where Bowser Jr. kinda gets knocked out in, like, the DS games or whatever. Alright, next level, we start off on a bridge, and we get one of these. I can tell this world is really gonna use them, but, alright, we start swinging off by some vines, cool. Alright, so this is called Vine Chasm, so I'm guessing we're in a chasm, and we will be swinging along vines with bamboo and death. Alright, now we're gonna have to make a sick jump here. Are you ready? Oh yeah. And we swing right up here. Look how sick that was. Can we also grab this? No. Bro, I just fumbled that. Alright, we're back here, and I'm assuming to use the vine to get that. Okay, that was what I was expecting and um dude how was i supposed to know that was gonna happen okay we're back here again so is it just gonna launch or do i have to move it oh i manually move it okay oh so i can like move it back and forth okay so i'm assuming that's how we were actually supposed to get the star coin but granted 
We still... Oh, can I control? <laughs> I can't. What happens if I hit that? Nothing. But... Alright, let's go in this pipe. Kind of figured there was a way to get up here. And we get the second star coin. Alright, so let's launch ourselves. Alright, well that's that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't really know what the purpose of it is, but it's still, you know, something that I don't think the Wii version did do. I'm pretty sure they had something like that in the Wii U version, but not the Wii. Alright, so now we have to figure out how to grab this. So I'm assuming we do something like that. Slide down. Oh, I was actually expecting we had to use this thing, but that is another way to get it. Oh shoot, and if we're fast enough, we were not we were not fast enough. I'm assuming that was a secret exit. So you know what guys? Because I'm assuming it is, we're gonna get it next time. Promise. Alright, thankfully we had a checkpoint, but oh crap, now there's no way we're gonna get the red coins. But this part I'm hoping we can get the secret exit because I have a feeling that is what that's supposed to be. So Instead of grabbing that star coin, let's immediately go this way. Alright, now let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, I was expecting a secret exit, but it's actually just a bunch of one-ups. So, that is a little bit, um, disappointing. And because we never hit that, like, P-switch block to get those blocks to appear, we couldn't really get any of them either, so let's just finish off this level then. Man, a waste of a star coin too, like, what even is this? Okay guys, so, as you can see, there's a split path. But, you'll notice if we go in the top section, there is, um, a switch. So, we're gonna go ahead and try to get the switch. Now, unfortunately, because we did miss a lot, I'm assuming we missed a lot, maybe like one poor world, like if it's like Super Mario World, but we can go ahead and try to get our first one. Alright, and just like in Mario World, we also have these blocks, so that's pretty cool. And we got a big, massive Shy Guy that we cannot kill. But we can use it to get that. Which, actually, can we kill it? Oh, well, that was... No, there's no way to kill it. Because it's just that massive. Imagine the size of his cock. Alright. And we got some other massive ones. Do they also make us bounce? Oh, they make us bounce really high. Okay, well, that was... Uh, unexpected. But, either way, we get ourselves a 1-up. Alright, we can also ground pound through those to come down here. And get our first checkpoint. Dude, this is actually pretty cool. I hate these things though, dude. The way they jump is just freaking annoying. Alright, just bounce off that guy up here. And I'm assuming this will... Can I not go in? Did I miss something? Looks like we'll have to look around. Alright, I was kind of expecting that we could like jump up there, but there is nothing up there either. Okay, this is pretty suspicious. I mean, I mean, just look at it, okay? Why did they do that? What was the design in making this? Look at it. Oh, guys. I knew there was a suspicion about that wall because something weird about this one, too. But we can go through it, so... I wonder what that's all about. Oh! It actually takes us out here. That was... Not expected, but that was the last Star Coin, so we did miss one. Also, we found a new Shy Guy. It's a pink one. That one makes us bounce extremely high. But I'm guessing they all make us bounce the same height. But, that's the end of the level. Alright, there actually was a secret exit in that level too, but we still get the green switch either way, so... That's cool. And... Okay, what is the design on this enemy? What is this enemy supposed to be? Oh! It's supposed to be like a... Version of, um, these spiny things, but... Either way. Okay, what is this supposed to be? The frog suit? That's cool. Wait! Will this unlock the frog suit? The power of the switch will turn all of the those blocks into green. You can now access new areas. No frog suit. That is a little sad. I was really hoping we'd get it. Okay, and I don't know what the secret exit takes us to, but I feel like we should probably go and find it. So, let's go ahead and do so. Alright, to save you guys some time, um, all I have to know is we want on this area. I don't really want you guys to have to sit through the whole thing, but we hit that switch, opens up a door, which is really well hidden, dude. Like, <laughs> how annoying that was to find, but to save you guys some time, I won't be showing you guys it because... Because of, like, how long it took. Because, holy crap, that took freaking forever. Also, if you're wondering why I wanted to do that, is because I was not feeling like clearing the bottom section of levels. 
and also because we can discover our first secret exit, which I think would be pretty cool. Alright, let's see this where it takes us. We get to climb up some trees and go up, go upstairs. So, no way. Does it just take us to the next world? It, C1. It doesn't say 5-1. Interesting. Let's play it. Alright guys, I just, um, I think I was looking on Google, and apparently, if you find a special secret exit in each world, not like all of them, there's actually eight bonus worlds. Eight. That is insane. So, we're gonna go ahead, maybe do this one, um, a different video, but I think for this one, we're not going to, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and kill ourselves so we can go to back to what we were playing earlier. Man, just the fact that there's eight bonus worlds is insane to me. I'm pretty sure there's at least eight. Because if that's C, and this is world four, okay, well, hmm. If you do the math, A, B, C, that's only three bonus worlds and this is world four. I don't know. Let's just go down to the bottom level. All right, for this one, and we get some really large bounce blocks, okay. And, um, well, looks like this level, by the name of the, by the game of the game, bang, bang of the name, it's a rooftop run, so that's pretty cool. So we just bounce along the rooftops like that every other Naruto episode, with some bamboo somehow growing on the top. Don't know how that works out. Actually, I guess bamboo is the tallest, like, wood, tree, or whatever you want to call it. Either way, I was kind of hoping we could get in that pipe, but it doesn't seem possible. And I can already tell I'm going to be missing a tons of secrets because I have no idea where I'm going. And I also got to the first checkpoint with, um, no star coins. So that's a bit unfortunate. Alright, well, I was climbing some bamboo. Noticed the pipe got hit many, many times. But we're going to go ahead and try to get on this roof and boom, hopefully our first secret. Alright, so on this one, bouncing some trampolines on roofs, I'm guessing for just a star coin. Well, I ended up dying, and I'm not really in the mood to get that star coin again, because... Oh, I almost just died again. Holy crap, that was a close call. Ugh. Alright, I can tell there's a lot of these things. I wonder, is there like a way to hit them? I don't know, and ooh, a star coin. And it's the last one as well. And now we got some big old trampolines to the end of the level. Alright, we get another split path, but that one's to the Mushroom House, and because we're playing more levels than expected, I think we're just gonna skip to the Thunder Bridge. Alright, and we go off, and the graphics in this level are terrible, and that's cool. I immediately die from that cloud. Alright, let's try this again. Um, okay, avoid that. That is actually a cool new enemy. I don't think this was in the base game either. I haven't played it in like five years. And that's not over-exaggeration. I genuinely have not played this game in so long. Or at least the base game. But, yeah. Either way, though, I think we have to, like, stand underneath, like, these platforms to avoid it. But I'm just wondering, like, there has to be a point where we have to go on top for, like, a star coin. I feel like, oh, shoot. Well, that was not planned. He has to kill that thing so we can go down this pipe. And thus, greeting us our first star coin. Okay, we're going a bit, um... We're not really granted any more shelter from this lightning, so I guess we're just gonna have to f figure this out. Um, crap. Oh, man. I thought we would've died immediately like we did last time, but I guess not. Shoot, this is scary. Dude! Okay, I just got hit by lightning, and it shrunk me to baby, like, Mario, though. Now this level is very scary. Dude, I have to deal with spinies as this thing. Holy crap. Alright, we're all good though, because we just got to power up. Hurry down the pipe. Great, he's still here. Cool. We still got the top of the flagpole. Alright, and now we have the samurai castle, and then the ship, and then a snow world. So let's go on. And immediately, just some spines just flying around, and dry bones. I don't think we've seen dry bones in the castle yet, so that's cool. Alright, now I'm curious how we're supposed to get that star coin down there. Because I don't really see any way. Maybe we need the propeller suit or something. And they bring these little hammer things. I think this was only in New Super Mario Bros. U. Don't know if it was in the old original game, but I don't actually remember it being, so that's cool. Also, we see a lot of, like, these statue things here. 
Which, I don't know, is that supposed to be like Buddha or something? I don't know. Now I'm curious to see, though, how we're supposed to get this. Let's make it work somehow. Alright, that's how we get it. Nice. Let's see if this spiny will do anything special for us. Maybe. Possibly. A nice little slide. Will it, uh... Okay, I don't know if I trust these coins right here. Okay, it's just a drop down. Should we? Oh my gosh. Sometimes you have to trust some stuff. And... Ground pound? A trampoline? Why was there... Okay, um... I guess we also have to use it to get out of here, so... That's cool. Oh, and would you look at that? It actually did greet us too. A star coin. And thus, we go to the castle. Please let there be a power-up. And there was. Okay, and... Kamek gets killed again. Will he be big this time? I don't know, man. I feel like he probably should have used Kamek's help, but... I guess not. It's just the same old fight, so... I don't know, man. It's all up to him. And I'm getting railed, kinda. Alright, so the only difference is that he would use his sword in the air so he gets out if you jump on him, but that's the only difference. Pretty easy fight. Alright, let's go to the nut screw... <laughs> airship. Wonder what we're screwing our nuts in. I don't know. Personally, they're hanging low today, so... Not really in the mood. Alright, so far, honestly, nothing too crazy of a castle, you know, just kind of got to go along. But still better than pretty much what Nintendo has ever done, because they're a little, little sketchy to get through, but other than that, it's fine. Okay, well, this is something I... Oh, shoot! Okay. Um, I kind of... Dude, we have to go, like, fast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we can go through. Okay, was not expecting that. Is there, like, a secret up there? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, um, got a lot of boxes here. Guess we just ground pound through them. Maybe a star coin or a one up, but I feel like there has to be one because I got a checkpoint and nothing. Yeah, no, I guess there wasn't one. Oh well. Why does that thing right there look like a massive cannon? And I still got hit. And okay, let's drop down to get some coins. All right, dude, I'm actually about to die. This is sketch. All right, and I guess we can also get a pipe. Alright, so, pretty much the boss. I have a feeling there's a power-up somewhere around here. Come on, there has to be one. Why would they let you down on this side if there wasn't? There we go, we found one, and I really don't want to die because the checkpoint is pretty far from this boss. Never mind, it was a cannon. Alright, we got Lemmy, I'm pretty sure this is. I don't really remember any of the Koopling's names except for a couple, but pretty much a straightforward boss fight, nothing too crazy. Alright, we have our last hit here. Fairly easy, didn't even get hit. It's a really easy boss fight. Alright, and in the next world, I'm debating whether I do World C or World 5, but we'll go ahead and figure it out. But either way, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, hopefully, the game's volume will be much better now. I feel like it it's really solid. I was doing a couple tests, so yeah. But thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.